hello everyone so today uh, I am going to add sounds for this sport car you know by default we don't have sounds yet in this Unreal Engine 5 uh, brand new vehicle sport car template uh, and also in the classic vehicle template which is this one also uh, it does have sound however it is not working properly it doesn't change the engine sound pitch as it speed up or as it as we press the accelerator so here is the preview so when i release the accelerator the sound reduces Let's see how to add these sound effects today. Right, so first let's take a look at this blueprint. So here we can hear the sound, but it does not change. So let me open this blueprint, and this is how the sounds work. So we have this. Uh, engine sound component and here we have added this engine loop Q so here we have this RPM parameter and we have three sound cues can you play this so this one is first one is this and this and this so the sounds are uh, so what happens here is based on the value we give for this rpm parameter uh, the sound played is fed in in between these two samples these three samples and when the rpm value is in between uh, sorry when the rpm value is below 150 we get this sound when it exceeds 150 uh, it starts blending with the next sample which is this one and when the rpm exceeds 250 uh, this sample is fully faded out and this is fully played so just like that it switch to the next one when the in between 2500 and 3000 rpm values but for some reason uh, I think it's a bug in the engine this is where this rpm value is set it's set by getting the move forward speed of the car vehicle and get the absolute value so that we won't get any negative values and set the rpm parameter of this engine sound but for some reason that is not updated here so that's why we don't get the change in sound so as a temporary workaround we can try this let me add uh, Let's use this sound as the engine sound, and this has to loop. Uh, let me set it to looping. now when we play we get this sound and still nothing changes so let's see what kind of a value we get for the engine forward speed all right it's 
zero easy to go to thousand six hundred right so let me play this value externally this is speed to um oh, we can play here but if i set the pitch to here what if i set this to fire fire doesn't match a car actually but let's try that get this value and let's divide it by so as I remember it's changing from 0 to 1600 or something divide this by 800 and we need to clamp this otherwise this will become 0 so not clamp axis clamp float in between 0.5 and maybe 3 and set it is changing ah sorry this is not the parameter I need to change I wanted to change I wanted to change the pitch set pitch multiplier and ignore this float parameter is this a float add the same thing to the sport car as well we only need these parts uh, before that let me copy the engine sound these notes oh it doesn't have a tick so let's mm, we can start a tick here change it to the sport car okay 
it's not perfect but better than nothing let's try 500 and change this to 5 and also we have another problem here uh, as uh, even if I hold down the W or move forward button so usually in a car once I press the accelerator the engine sound should increase regardless of the actual movement speed of the sound and when I release the accelerator regardless of the actual speed the engine sound should decrease so to achieve that behavior uh, let's do something like this let's get move forward axis and then we can do uh, something like this we get some space let's do a select float based on this value if this is greater than 0 0.1 um, maybe I can use zero as well if this is greater than 0.1 we can use this value else we can use 0.5 so by doing this once i release move forward the engine sound will be reduced now i'm going to release So, but it doesn't work the other way around. So once I press W, I don't get the sound. So for that, what we can do is we can add maybe the point five here. Because we are accelerating. Even if the car is not moving, I get some sound. Okay. Mm. Mm. Here, instead of getting the direct value, I if I get the absolute value, I will get sounds when I am reversing as well. okay so another effect is uh, now my, my values are just changing suddenly so to get a continuous change we can do something like this we can have a different variable let's say and Pitch. 
should be a float and default value let's say 0.5 instead of uh, setting directly I'll use an engine fee pitch and then let's do uh, set engine pitch so here let's do a lab instead of directly setting the value lab means linear interval rate. the initial value is engine pitch and the target value is whatever the value we get here alpha should I use delta seconds let's try that It's not fast enough. The change is not fast enough, so maybe this uh, long line looks ugly. So we can get the same thing by get delta time. Sorry, word delta time. Get to delta time. Multiply it by maybe 5 we can test it out and use as alpha I imported this sound let's try that sound and uh, engine pitch now let's see how it works maybe we should set this clamp value lower value to let's try 0.9 I'm gonna stop this episode right here and thanks for watching so as always project files will be available here for the download in the patreon page link would be in the description below and if you like to support my work you can get the membership of the patreon club see you in another episode goodbye